Good morning friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options and this is the morning market prep video for the 16th, March 16th, 2023. Well, uh, guys, this is the second video I've recorded. Um, hopefully it will work. For some reason, um, YouTube is having some trouble this morning and not loading my first video. So this is going to be a very shortened video. Before we get started, I wanted to let everyone know that um, tomorrow, or tonight, actually, I am jumping on an airplane, leaving on a vacation for about a week. So there will not be the normal morning market prep videos here for a few days, but I will try to do some YouTube live from my phone. We'll be out hiking some national parks. Maybe I'll show you some uh, fun places while I do that. Um, but it will not be normal, so I wanted to let everyone know that. Um, first off, because I need to be really short um, here this morning, we've got a little bit of um, mix here in, in the morning. We've got um, Asian markets that were down overnight. European markets are up this morning on the... Um, Swiss National Bank um, stepping in to help Credit Suisse. So maybe a little bit of relief um, coming here in the market today, which would be very nice to see um, just to push back up. But just keep in mind as we rally back in these indexes, we've got resistance levels up here that we'll wanna be paying attention to. So as we rally back up, look for those resistance levels to come into play on all of the indexes except the QQQ. Now the QQQ is trying to pop through that downtrend resistance here in the chart. And this one may be the different one. It, right now the NASDAQ is trying to lift the entire market all on its own. Um, it's trying to ignore these banking issues and things out there. So watch that closely. If that can continue, well, maybe we might just pop on through here, hold a higher low and then I've got to be bullish um, in that circumstance on the QQQ, so watch that one close. Um, other than that, guys, we do have um, several things on the economic calendar here this morning that we'll have to be paying attention to. Um, housing starts, jobless claims, Philly Fed, as we know, all of those have the potential to move the market dramatically. They are expecting in the consensus a little improvement in housing starts and permits. Jobless claims, unfortunately, are not expected to move in the direction that the Fed is wanting them to move. That could add a little bit more pressure to uh, next week's rate decision. Um, we've got the Philly Fed, and I tell you, if Empire State has anything to say about what happens in the Philly Fed, Oof, uh, that was a bad, bad number yesterday. And um, the Philly Fed number could be an interesting one here to pay attention to this morning as well. Import-export prices, as you know, can sometimes move the market a bit. And then the natural gas report. Got a couple of uh, bill auctions in that Fed balance sheet later on today. As you plan into Friday, just keep in mind we're not out of the woods yet. We've got industrial production and consumer sentiment coming in here. That certainly industrial production can certainly move the market pretty substantially, so keep that in mind. On the earnings front, guys, um, you'll um, what I'm going to suggest you do because I'm just going to make this a very short video is you click the link below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get that full list of notables for today. Um, I think our best hope. Um, for a relief rally um, is shown here in T2122. Remember, this is just a four week new high, new low ratio um, in the market. And what it's showing us is that we are in this um, bullish reversal zone um, here in the chart. So if we can get some good data today, then we have that opportunity that we could relieve some of that pressure. But keep in mind, guys, that as we relieve that pressure, as we push up into these um, resistance levels of the chart, it may be just the next opportunity for the bears to push us back down. So watch that closely as we rally. If you get long, uh, just remember that as you push into those resistance levels, it may be a great place to be taking some profits. Also keep in mind that we're sliding into that um, period of time where it's the blackout period for um, uh, stocks 
to be able to do buybacks. And so during that blackout period, things can get a little bit stagnant sometimes. And as we wait for that next quarter earnings um, season to start, and it's not looking so good at the moment, um, you'll want to kind of keep that in mind and maybe not over trade this market, maybe quicker in and out type trades, um, being a little bit careful, um, staying focused on what's happening in these banks. And then um, if we were to um, take a look at the other indicators here, T2108 certainly is showing a bit of an oversold situation here in the um, in that one this is the percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average 17.92 percent of the stocks um, holding above their 40-day that's hardly a bullish case for the market but it is a case of an oversold condition and we might get that bounce and t2107 is also giving us that hope that we might catch a little bit of price support in here and bounce but you'll want to keep in mind any bounce back up we may bounce into these resistance levels here in the chart and in a I don't want to predict anything but if I were to draw this out um, and see that rally back if that rally back were to fail over here uh, that is a really big head and shoulders pattern that could be setting up on t2107 so watch that closely as we rally back up in the market if that is going to be the case today and there's no reason to believe that uh, at least at this moment that we're going to just zoom back to the top with uh, the issues that we have here in the market so with that guys hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day thanks so much for listening here this morning i do appreciate it be safe be careful while I'm out and um, uh, hiking around in some national parks. I want to wish you all the very best and um, truly, truly appreciate um, all the support that you guys give to this channel. Um, you guys are the best. Thank you much. Um, I'll see you when I return. I apologize it's not a full-on video today, but hopefully you'll understand that um, I wanted to get something out before the open and I couldn't record a full video again. Everyone take care. I wish you all the best. Great success in your trading next week. Remember, FOMC is around the corner. And I will see you right back here just as soon as I get back from my hiking vacation. Y'all take care. Wish you all the best.